Hey, Shepard. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it. Uh-huh. Why? Am I making this hard for you and Garrus? <laughs> Not even remotely. Hey, how do you two... I mean, is he... You know... Do Turians have all the same... Same... Never mind. I don't really want to know. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? It's a lot of responsibility, and you haven't passed the tests yet. I know, and I heard every word you said. I'm 100% committed to this. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shep. What the hell? No way. You've been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> this is high-quality stuff. <clears throat> Maybe I could, you know, <clears throat> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? <clears throat> you gonna watch, or are you gonna join in? <clears throat> I love this. <clears throat> You get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. <laughs> you get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? I'd go with something he's actually gonna use a few times before the galaxy ends. I see. It does concern me that he is susceptible to bodily harm. Because of his bones? No, because he doesn't have 30 centimeters of reactive armor plating. The Normandy's crew have very few integral defenses. You know, the first step in appropriate gift giving is not to think of the recipient as a mortal sack of meat. I'm sorry. 
My defense intelligence programming took the discussion in inappropriate directions. I should sublimate. What about a lower back support for his chair? There are some that heat and cool. Sold. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Well, that's thoughtful, Edie. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewelry with the uniform. Some soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. Hmm. I'll take that to heart. Thanks, Edie. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure, I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I'd describe it as engaging rather than dangerous. I'll drink to that. <laughs> trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real shepherd? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on, you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do.
trouble. You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? Goddamn right I do. Okay, then. Credits. Here, let me. Beginner's luck? It's obviously rigged somehow. But I just... Never mind. I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. All right. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? Zaid, will another victory ever match the one you just experienced? You're right. Guess you've been around that block a few times. <laughs> a few too many. Come on, you're buying. Yes. I am. Did you catch the updated intel report on stripping enemy defenses? Was it fair? Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Belusian gamut. Is this... space chess? It's called Cape Yakshi, Blade of the Nightwinds. The Asari have played it since... We were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist. Commander. Kick her ass. Roger that. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. 
I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia... You had all the warning in the world, and the Reapers just rolled in. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash-talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachni either. Or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry, Tassuza. This might sting a bit. And I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. So you detonate your tech armor in an emergency? No, pretty much all the time. Have a good evening now. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. So, are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Ah! You die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions! I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory senses. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto-7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Rothian, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a specter? I am not just a specter. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe, now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. Cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's over, half-brother sluggard! And he's looking...
looking for some payback. Kill the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no, the Forte Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Fennec, hit the comm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. I thought you were working on the Crucible. You know, saving the galaxy. We get shore leave. Which you spend robbing casinos. People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Only if I have to. You always were good to me. Take care of yourself out there, Shepard. So, a Turian on shore leave. You come here often? Is this that uh, first date thing we talked about? Got it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I come here often. Hmm. Good place to blow off steam. Scenery's not bad either. Though the view in front of me is even better. That's supposed to melt a girl's heart? No, but this voice is. I'm Garrus Vicarian, codename Archangel. All round Turian bad boy and dispenser of justice in an unjust galaxy. Also, I kill Reapers on the side, and you are. Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Hmm. Shepard, huh? I might have heard a few things about you. 
If they're naughty, they're right. Well, I'm looking forward to finding out. Uh-huh. And do most girls fall for that? Well, sure, you know. This voice and, uh... And, um... I'm running out of banter here, Shepard. Make it up. Remember, we just met. Right. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. All the girls fall for it. Let me show you. What, what are you doing? It'll be fun. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Been taking lessons on the side. You're gonna pay for this later. Promises, promises. So, tell me, think a girl would fall for that? Just as long as it's the one standing in front of you. You know it. And it gets even better when you try it in bed. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. There's an old human saying, whoever saves one life saves the world entire. It's not about a planet, but the value of each of us. I don't know how many times Thane saved my life or I saved his when we were beyond the Omega-4 relay. It all happened pretty fast. But I do know my whole world could have come to an end then. And it didn't. We cannot thank Thane. But for those of us who have more time in this life because of him, we can remember how he lived. If we do that, he is not truly gone. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, 
Even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Dane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... I was little. I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was... good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the Counselor. About what? She is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. I don't want to discourage you, but the Council doesn't move too quickly, especially when distracted by the war. I have hope, Commander. And in the Counselor, I may have an ally. Those are two powerful things. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander.
I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Like the shape of her eyes, shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico, and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. One song. And I thought the Shadow Broker knew everything. On the contrary, Commander. I often bring new data to Dr. Tassoni's attention. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing by just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose, how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. I'm a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. You're free to use the apartment. Thank you, Shepard. I think I will. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard.
Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? You can turn those dampeners back on any time. Okay, okay. Doesn't take much to pull a few G's, and we don't want to paint the windows with your breakfast, right? Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. Well, I might trust Joker to do the job. Oh, that hurts, Shep. Moreau can fly a frigate, I'll give him that, but give him something with real maneuverability? Come on. Glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. Five, four, three, two, one. 
candy comes out. Ha! Damn, it's nice to relax. Just come loose, not worrying about the kids. I do love the simplicity and the adrenaline rush. Yeah, it's not quite the same in this thing with the safeties on. Ha! But it ain't bad. Ah! You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. Just a big, deep boom to let you know everything's gonna be okay. Thanks for coming, Shepard. Wouldn't have missed it. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the Council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Ha-ha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the Council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> like this. It's joking time. Joker, oh no! Yes, you were. much how it happened, which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! Joker, you're a great pilot and a terrible liar. <laughs> you don't say. You know, there's a bond, Shepard. A wordless bond of loyalty between commander and pilot. And today... Today, you pay for your own drinks. <laughs> Fine. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Bring it on, Taylor. Let's see what you've got. This is your game of skill? Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk at Shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. Hey, hey, you're crowding me. 
Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Is that all you've got? Come on, come on, come on! Are you crying yet, Jacob? Incompetent, really. You couldn't just let me win just once? Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. With Earth and Thessia both occupied, how could they stay focused on a game? Well, you haven't seen Derek Rogers' game lately. Man, he and the sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay, guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Chef, who's it gonna be? How do you bet against a team that's been playing since before we were born? Listen up, Esteban. Shepard's preaching the wisdom. Come on, the game's starting. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Yes, they did it! Don't be so smug. Pay up. Wait, Steve picked the winner. Why is he paying? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And you spend all your luck in the battlefield, Commander. Simple math. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no, really? <laughs> Come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? 
Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. If this food poisons me, I'll have you sorting widgets with Adams for a month. Noted. Plus, I'll kick your ass. Relax. It's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then you weren't there. I survived a suicide mission. All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. Can it at least be quick and painless? <sighs> Funny. I mean, you think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? That was great. I'm still waiting for the botulism to kick in. Yeah, I thought I was pretty good. I'm messing with you, Kay. Can I call you Kay? No. I didn't think so. See? Sensitive. Or maybe you're being an ass. Major, did you just call your CO an ass? No. I called my friend an ass. Talk about sensitive. Ha. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. I didn't realize people still had conditions like that. No offense. None taken. My body's just this inconvenient thing I used to carry my mind around. The colony where I grew up has limited resources. You only get gene therapy if you have a life-threatening condition. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Uh... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Miranda, cute outfit, Shepard. Perfect. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. You've picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? 
A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? The only difference between us and everyone else is that our to-do list is longer. We need to let that go tonight. Let it go? That's harder than it sounds. I know, but this is the perfect place to try. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Now you're talking. Waiter, more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're a couple of girls out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, ma'am. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah. Didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. I understand you getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. Yeah, full of sick people. Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah, when CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. <laughs> Oh, 
So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? <laughs> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the element zero. Their biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. Oh. What? You're aware of the parallels here, right? What the hell are you talking about, Shepard? Mistreated biotic, the... No? Never mind, forget I said anything. Yeah, who's my badass biotic? Mm, who's my badass biotic? <laughs> Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines... Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. I can understand Saren's thug sneaking around in the wards, but the Presidium... Silenced muzzle, polonium rounds. Nobody even heard it. It was just a jab in the arm. And then radiation and rupture warnings. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Saren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. Maybe we should go have a little talk with that clerk. <laughs> I spent three years waiting to come back and make his life hell. But when I finally saw him, he was just a clerk whose people desperately need help. Which they'll get, thanks to you. Nice work, Ambassador. This war is more important than grudges and prejudice. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. Everything looks so peaceful. In here, you can almost forget about the war. I never get tired of looking at this place. I never thought they'd let a quarry in up here. The Presidium is so beautiful. Everything looks so peaceful. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? Well, I don't think I've ever seen that vid. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But Shalai... We can never be together. I have my duty, and you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Seriously? Shh. <laughs> this one awards? 
My friends and I watched this vid every time we had a sleepover. Do not ruin it for me. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I already am. I'm gonna make some popcorn. You want anything? Thank you.